Hey guys, it's number one Steve here, and I'm back with another Monday Night Raw results video. After watching Monday Night Raw last night, all right. So let's without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video, guys. All right. So instead of Seth Rollins, the Authority, John Cena, Sting, Brock, Paul Heyman, for the first time ever, we get. The Wyatt family kicking off Monday Night Raw. The Wyatt family kicked off talking about their victory that they got last night, the night before at uh, the pay per view, Night of Champions. <sighs> Sorry, guys, my nose is really bothering me right now. Um, talking about their talking about their uh, match, how they won, and how they're the best. And this is that. Roman Reigns comes down. He challenges Bray Wyatt to a fight. He said, "No referee. It's not a match. It's a fight." Obviously, it broke out, and Braun Strowman and Luke Harper got involved. Dean Ambrose got involved, and then Randy Orton got involved, too. We thought maybe later that the ref would come down and be like, Alright, this is a six-minute tag team match, but instead, the brawl just ended after they got knocked all three guys out the ring. So, probably expect a six-man tag team match uh, next Monday night on Raw. If not, then it could be for Hell in a Cell. But who knows, right? Alright, so, I gave that segment a B because the authority... Or normally the people who open up the show did not open up the show. We got different. Something different, which is pretty good. Alright. Next, we have Neville and the Lucha Dragons taking on the Cosmic Wasteland. This match was pretty good. I gave it a B. And did I not call this? I said that the Neville and uh, the Lucha Dragons were going to lose at the pre-show. And then come back and face them again on Raw and win. Did I not say that? I called that right down the middle Dead straight on. See, this is why y'all need to listen to me. Because I know what I'm talking about. I may not know too much about the past before the Attitude Era. But, and WCW never that stuff like that. But I know what I'm talking about now when it comes to wrestling. And trust me, I know my wrestling. Of today. Alright. So next we have Ryback taking on Bo Dallas. Ryback pretty mad because he lost the Intercontinental Championship yesterday. Again, I'm kind of shocked that they took the title off Ryback. I thought maybe they would have had him lose it at Hell in a Cell. But, I mean, I understand that, uh, uh, what's his name, Kevin Owens needed the win because lately uh, he hasn't been that very good. Again, as we always know, he puts on excellent matches, but his credibility because of John Cena uh, uh, went down, apparently. You know, I mean, a lot of people say John Cena buries him, but how do we even know it's John Cena, right? How do we know that it's not the WWE creative team, right? That it's not Triple H, or it's not, but that it's Triple H, that it's Vince. How do we know it's John Cena saying, nah, I, I gotta win this feud. Nah, I gotta win this feud. Nah, I gotta win this feud. How do we know? Y'all y'all just assume, oh, it's John Cena, he buries everybody. Does he bury everyone, or is it Vince? Or is it Triple H? Or is it the creative team? Because lately, the creative team has sucked when it comes to storyline. Certain ones, at least. But still, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, you can't blame everything on John Cena, okay? Yeah. Anyway, so that got to see. Because the match is, you know, basically just for Robert to get his anger out. Um, now, believe it or not, this is my moment of the night. Charlotte was coming out, and she was celebrating her Divas victory. How she beat Nikki Bella and everything like that. Boo her title reign. Boo, well, not her title reign, but boo the fact that she passed again AJ Lee's record. And it's not the fact that because AJ was connected with it was because of the fact that AJ's connected to Superman. But it's not the fact that we're mad that how she why she was champion long. It's just the fact that she was because it's, we're not saying it's because she. I'm confusing myself here. Let me start this over. We're mad at Nikki Bella for passing AJ Lee's record. At least I am because I feel she doesn't deserve it. Why does she not deserve it? Again, I point out, when she beat AJ Lee for the title, it was incredible. She looked strong. She looked fierce. She looked like nobody could beat her, right? She looked like she was the best uh, at her time, right? At that time, right? So then, you know, she goes on. She defends the title here and there, except at WrestleMania, because she was in a tag team match with her sister. And then she gets the Beast in the East, which was July 4th. And that was the very last time she defended her title because after that, the whole Divas Revolution thing started and it was three different teams, right? Well, ever since then, she has not defended that title. Hold on a second. Ever since then, she has not defended that title, right? Which is why I'm saying, well, she doesn't deserve to, to break AJ Lee's record because 
ever since July 4th, she hasn't been defending that championship. Matter of fact, the only reason why we remember she's champion is because she's holding the belt and because she's saying, I'm the Divas champion. Other than that, we'd be like, oh, she's the Divas champion? It's kind of like, and some people say AJ barely defended the title. That's a lot. AJ did defend the title. Yes, AJ did cheat, but she was a heel. You have to remember that. We're not mad because she cheated or because she didn't win cleanly. Yeah, we, did, we, we when AJ was the champion, yeah, we wanted it off her too. Because we're like, oh my God, when's someone going to beat her? It's kind of like Seth Rollins. It's like, it's good for him to have the title because, you know, he's Seth freaking Rollins. And because, you know, he's the most athletic and he's a company's top heel right now. But at the same exact time, we're like... Well, we know he's not going to lose the title because he's good with the title and he's athletic and he's this and he's that. And we're just wondering, well, who's going to be the guy to beat him? We think, oh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's going to be the guy to beat him. Oh, no. Take him, take him. We thought Sting was going to be the guy to beat him. Oh, no. Nah, Sting lost. We thought John Cena was going to beat him. Oh, no. Nah, Cena lost. We thought Ambrose reigned. We thought they were going to... Matter of fact, he lost to Ambrose. Let me just say that. So he shouldn't even be the champion. But it's whatever, right? So, but we're not mad... Well, I mean, if John Cena has something to do with her keeping the reign, then yeah, because obviously they forgot she was champion, and by the time they did remember, they're like, oh, well, she's already close to breaking the record. Why not just let her break the record? No! It makes no sense. Anyway, the thing that made me happy, and I caught it, and I did not say this on my review, but I kind of felt it in me, that when paid, dig back to when uh, there was a beat the clock challenge for Team PCB, right? And they were trying to decide who was going to become the number one contender for Nikki's title. Uh, Charlotte had Charlotte had the shortest record. She had like a minute and thirty two seconds, something like that, right? And age and Paige had to beat that time. Paige pretty much would have won, which is kind of some reason why I hate beat the cock challenge because it makes it look like the opponent's weak, so that's so they can beat the time, right? Anyway, so we're like, okay, you got to beat her in a minute and thirty two seconds. What match has ever been a minute and thirty two seconds? Unless you're the Big Show and you can knock somebody out, there's no way you're gonna win a match. In a minute and 32 seconds, right? Anyway, I can tell that she wasn't kind of happy for Paige. I mean, happy for Charlotte because she's like, Oh my God, I was this close to becoming number one contender for the Divas title. And now it's not mine. And when, when she got the title and when she was talking about her, how this is Charlotte tonight. And I saw her becoming that heel because I was like, I felt it. I was like, she's going to become the heel. I know it. She's going to turn on Team PCB. Apparently, JBL said it too. I don't remember him saying it. But, you know, if he did, then congrats on him for calling that. But I was like, uh, whoa, I called that, that she was going to turn on PCB because she was going to be jealous, because she is the new Divas champion. It, she's turning into the AJ Lee where she's like, because she dissed not only on Charlotte and Becky Lynch, but she dissed on the whole Divas uh, locker room or Divas revolution, whatever, every single Diva. She was like, where's Natalia at? Natalia hasn't even been there. Where's she been at? Which is true. Where's she been at? Like, I, I guess she's been at home helping uh, Tyson Kato with his injuries. You know, that's cool, whatever like that. But still, you know, you got to duty. You, you, you got to work for the WWE, right? But it's all good. You know, if I was her, I wouldn't want my girl to come home and help me out. You know, because I would need it, right? But anyway, right? So, she goes in the back later and she's talking to Natalia. And Natalia's like, like, if anyone deserves to be angry, it's me. I haven't even been here, you know. I haven't even been involved in this diva rev revolution and everything like that. And so, you know, I can see maybe and later that night she lost. Well, you know, I'll get to that a little bit later along with my thing. But the point is, I gave this an A because it was so awesome just to see Paige turn heel the way she did. Sort of in an AJ Lee type way, trying to... She came her own little version of a pipe bomb and kind of just like, okay, I'm separating this from all of y'all because y'all suck. I should be the right Divas champion. I won the title on my first night here, okay? It took you, what, three months? To, two months before you won it? I won it on my first night, okay? But still... Next, we had Charlotte versus Brie. Again, we're kind of confused. If Bri if Charlotte's leg is hurting, how is she able to lock in and bridge up on the figure eight? It doesn't make any sense. I guess she fights through the pain or whatever like that. But you know, it's whatever. I since it was a demon match, I gave it a C. Next, we had Sheamus versus Mark Henry. Um, you can expect another breaking news video for Mark Henry too. Um, but um. The thing, I gave this match a D because it's Mark Henry, man. He's a legend. He's been here since the attitude ever met back when he was known as Sexual Chocolate. Heck, everyone's like, Sexual Chocolate. They still chat that because everyone, you know, people always bring it up all the time. But still, it's like he's the world's strongest man, man. Come on. How the heck did every time he comes in the match, comes in and has a match, he loses? What's the point of him coming here and jobbing for people? Like, Really, I understand you gotta put the new generation over, but I mean, you still have some credibility left in him. Let him have some type of run or something, right? 
so he ends up losing with two bro kicks and everything like that. So I gave it a D because it was stupid and dumb and didn't need to happen. So then we had my boy Dolph Ziggler and Dully Boy sticking on the new day and Rusev. Now, apparently, now I may be going crazy, but I know for sure when people were when New Day was chanting New Day, I heard New Day sucks. First of all, Texas, you suck, okay? Because New Day does not suck. New Day rocks. I've been telling you that since day freaking one, that New Day rocks. Yeah, it took a little while, but people eventually realized, hey, these guys are funny, they're talented, and to be quite honest, even though we're heal they're healing and we're supposed to boo them, they're entertaining, we like what they're doing, which is why they started chanting New Day rocks. I will admit, during the match and during the end, they were chanting New Day Rock. Why? Because New Day Rocks. And matter of fact, I actually thought Ziggler and the Dudley Boys were going to win to count on the fact that all the Dudley Boys lost and the Ziggler won. But instead, they had Rusev pin Ziggler. So I'm guessing that means his feud is still on, which means Rusev might get the last laugh out of this. Which, you know, I was kind of hoping Ziggler will. But I mean, come on. Right? So then we had, Nat I'll give that a B, by the way. Then we had Natalia versus Naomi, right? And, um, Naomi won because of the distraction from Shasha Banks and, uh, Tim Tamina. Uh, the thing is here, I'm hearing some things that maybe Charlotte, not Charlotte, maybe, uh, Paige and Natalia might actually team up because they're both frustrated, like, you know, we're, uh, like, like Natalia, I get no spotlight. I don't ever get anything I deserve. I used to be a div the Divas champion and everything like that. And she's all, and then, uh, Paige is like, oh, I've been here since last year, whatever like that. I deserve more. I'm the two-time Divas champion, yada, 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 yada. I'm better than all y'all. I can see those two possibly teaming up. But, you know, if Paige wants to go solo, she can. But they're doing it AJ Lee style, I should say. Which is kind of, eh, whatever. So I gave that a C. Next we had Cesaro versus Show. I didn't actually see the match because I paused it and then when I had actually no, I didn't pause. I turned it to watch the Simpsons real quick because it was on commercial. And then when I turned it back, it was on um Big Show versus Cesaro. And it was pretty much when Cesaro was trying to lift the Big Show up off the uh outside. And he finally did it. But like from what I heard, he like hurt his back or something like that. So um when he got up, Big Show knocked him out and then gave his promo that he was going to beat Brock Lesnar on Brock Lesnar's Go To Hell Tour. Which, if you saw my breaking news video, you know that The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar are going to face that Hell in a Cell in the main event one final time to decide who is the best after all, right? Um, so I gave that a C. Big Show basically was like, I'm going to beat Brock. I've beaten him before, yada, 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 whatever. C. Next, final for the main event, we had Cena versus Rollins. Um, the match, again, they deliver B+, plus. good as their match at, uh, Night of Champions, probably not as better as their one at, uh, SummerSlam, cause that one match was pretty good, and their match that they had a few weeks ago, a few, a month ago, when Ron broke Cena's nose, that match was pretty good as well. They have some great chemistry together, though I will say, and I think a lot of people notice this, Cena does oversell a lot, like, Seth Rollins will kick him in the face, and then he rolls across the other side of the ring, we're like, what, you don't have to oversell it, dude, okay? You don't have to do, oh, like, he'll, he'll counterattack, right? Like, uh, some people will counterattack, and then they go right for the cover or something like that. Cena will counterattack you after getting beat up for a while, and then he'll lay on the ground, and it's like, come on, man, we don't got time to sit and wait for you to kid up and counter, or for Seth Rollins to counter you back. Come on, let's finish the match. You oversell things a little bit, John. I will say, you oversell things a little bit. Um, after the match, obviously, Cena retained the U.S. title. Um, after the match, uh, Kane dragged Seth Rollins down to hell. That's something Undertaker did before, and, um, just basically where he just drags you down like this. Like, oh, no, 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 no. But let me just talk about Kane real quick, okay? Because Kane yesterday is acting like he has amnesia or something like that. Acting like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Acting like the demon Kane has a mind of his own. Because he comes back last night at Night of Champions, chokeslams Seth Rollins and tombstones him, right? <laughs> So Seth Rollins comes in, the authorities are trying to talk to tell them about Kane, and it's corporate Kane's in there. I'm like, corporate Kane? What the heck, man? Like, so, and then he's all acting like, I'm Seth, I'm back now, <laughs> and laughing, trying to be funny. And it's kind of a, and then later on, the authority is like, okay, Kane, you can cut the act. We understand what Rollins did to you and everything like that, but you need to put that behind you, and let's focus on the greater good. Kane's all like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, um, but, uh... 
yeah, so, uh, peace out, right? It's kind of a scary thing, scary, kind of funny thing, because it's like, you know what he's doing, it's like he's pretending he doesn't know, like, the Demon Kane has a mind of its own, and he's like, oh, I'm Corporate Kane, I don't know what you're talking about, I don't got the mask, you lost, I gave the mask to you, and y y you lost it? it? It was kind of funny, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it was kind of funny, but scary at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, Hey, what? The funniest part, though, when she came, when Seth was like, give it to me, and Kane was like, that was funny. But obviously, we know Kane won't win, and again, I point out, if Kane does win, why would you have Kane win and not Sting? Doesn't make any sense. But anyway, guys, that has been my Raw results video for today. Um, As a whole, I'm going to give Monday Night Raw a... C C plus. It was alright. It wasn't nothing special. I mean, the only highlight of it for me, at least, was Paige turning on PCB and Kane doing his little amnesia. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't got my mask, but you know, if I find, I'll let you know. So, highlight for me, the match of the night. I'm gonna have to go with the six man tag team match between Ziggler and New Day and Rusev and Dudley Boys. That was the match of the night. Um, again, expect another video later today, because for some reason it takes three hours for the video to load on YouTube, so even though it's 10 o'clock right now, you might not see the video until 1, 2, 3, because my phone is sucking and it's slow. And then when that's done, I'll do another breaking news video. I believe I said it was going to be about Rusev and Lana, but I might change my mind. I have a lot of breaking news to share. I gotta put it all in. So expect, but I will say, expect a breaking news video every day of this week. I posted one yesterday. There will be one today. There will be one Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. All right, guys. So that has been my video for today. Please remember. I, I will say I'm happy some people are starting to watch my shit. That'll be extend, extend, bring back the brand extension. Um, besides my pay per views and raw results videos and predictions I'm trying to contemplate what my next video should be I have no idea if you have an idea or something that you would like me to talk about next please say it in the comment section below um I got again like I said I only got two new subscribers but you know that's better than when I started with right I'm not expecting to have a hundred views a hundred subscribers a thousand subscribers overnight it's gonna take some time I understand that but uh I'm excited about this let's do this together as a team guys all right so that's pretty much it for today, and remember, if you're not down with that, I've got two words for you. Peace out.